Okay, so this is a demonstration to show how uh, my setup works with Astrolabs. At the moment the telescope is switched on, uh, the mount is switched on, and all of the CCD equipment is switched on. I'm indoors at the moment and I'm going to start running a program called um, TeamViewer to connect to the um, laptop which is connected to uh, the rest of the equipment outside. So the first thing I do is I log into the laptop outside. So that's about 40 feet away from where I am now. And this is a program that's running on the laptop, uh, which is just a program called Stellarium. Uh, I just need to close that down for a minute to get to the desktop. There we go. Try and center this up a bit. In a second, I will anyway. There we go, so that's that done. So, uh, Astrobot, I run that. Did I click on that? Yes, I did. And the first thing I do is I switch into night visualization, which is just a bit easier on the eye. And then I run the camera control 6.2, which is the latest version. Um, I select my camera from those available, click on setup, mine's a 694 and I want to enable temperature control which is so currently set to 25 degrees below zero. OK to that. I then collect, connect to the load star um, guider. OK to that. A couple of other housekeeping things I do is I switch off new window because I don't want to open up multiple windows and use up more memory than what I need to. And I also um, have my guide camera set to 2x2 two two binning uh, with 0.3 exposures. I'm using adaptive optics, the Starlight Express adaptive optics, uh, the large format version, which are very good and certainly get me around the problems that I have with my mount. Um, so I need to fast guide because even exposures of about three seconds, you know, this, the mount is so jumpy that uh, it can cause quite nasty uh, spikes. So I have a very fast uh, guide rate, usually between 0 0.2 and 0 0.3 seconds. So I'm usually guiding between three and five times a second and that works out quite well for me. Okay, so the other things I need to do, I need to connect to the filter wheel. And I can close that once done. Uh, I open up a scripts menu and this basically uh, recenters the adaptive optics and then it picks out a guide star and then begins to guide on it. Uh, the other thing I need to do at the start is roughly point the telescope to any known star and it does have to be very rough. Uh, so I've actually got the telescope now pointed towards uh, Altair. I've no idea if it's in the picture or not until I take an image. So before I do that, I'll connect to uh, the telescope <coughs> through the ASCOM driver, the AWR ASCOM driver. My mount is an Intes Alter D6, and it's been modified by the company called uh, AWR, a chap called Alan Buckman. They're easy enough to find on the internet. Uh, once that's connected, I then put this telescope control window out of harm's way. I then right-click in this window and open up my um, J2000 go to list. And what do I do next? So, binning 2x2. Two two. Let's take an image and see what we can find. So, this is the first setup tonight. Things will probably be completely out of focus, but let's have a look. Oh, not too bad. So, we've got an image. And as I say, this is going to be roughly somewhere around the vicinity of Altair. And we're going to be eventually going to M27, but first of all we need to calibrate on a known star. Um, so what you can do now uh, with plate solving in AstroArt, which is a really, really useful feature, is you can pick from the list of objects, um, roughly, you know, you're trying to synchronize the mount to the camera where it's actually pointing in the sky. It's not there yet. So the first part of doing that is to pretend that you're already there. So what I do is I 
use AstroArt and I select Altair and I say sync, in other words synchronize the mount to there's a number of options and the first time we do this we choose the actual coordinates for Altair so I'm telling AstroArt that I'm syncing to Altair which I'm not, I'm not there yet but that's what I'm going to tell AstroArt what I then do is I uh, take an image and that will overwrite the last one because we've got this new window feature switched off so there will only ever be uh, hopefully one image on the screen at a time and I can then use this function the tools and the find coordinates now it's asking me what coordinates where does it start so we're going to tell it to start from the image in question the current image so we click on that and it then takes the coordinates from when we synced to Altair and then we say OK and you can see from this symbol up in the top corner that it means it's found the coordinates and it's plotted the north and east corresponding uh, flagpoles if you like so now that the telescope knows where this or rather now that Astroart knows where this picture is what we can do then is we can then say sync not to Altair because we're not on Altair but we can sync to this image that AstroArt has just plate solved and so when we do that AstroArt is now synchronized in the sky with wherever this image is what we can then do then is a go to Altair, Altair is selected there we can just say go to it will then go to wherever this is and as you can see it's slewing to the target and it's going to try and find its way best it can towards Altair now because of the initial setup of this program uh, there may be some backlash involved especially on my mountain declination so it never gets this right first go but it certainly gets it close and with a couple of repeat attempts it doesn't take long to get this thing uh, where you need it to be and so there that's really good um, within just sort of one attempt at roughly pointing in the sky we're almost centered on Altair now there's a number of ways of fine tuning this last thing we can either repeat the process and do another fine coordinates sync to the last object or rather last image uh, and then do a go to but what I like to do which is something I've only found out recently if I press the control and number five on the keypad sorry on the uh, keyboard that selects the very central region on the screen you can then press control and plus and it will then make that image larger or rather that selection larger and then if you go to um, the guide tab and switch the binning to say 3x3 three three, you can then start to um, focus on that region and it should pick up that star which it does you can then switch on the crosshairs and we just need to get that star now to this central point here and we can do that quite easily using these um, move arrows so if I start clicking these and just making an adjustment on where that star is at the moment and again because of backlash in my system usually I have a bit of a problem with declination uh, but it's not doing too bad at the moment and so this number obviously can be increased if you need to move a long way but we're almost there so you can see the general idea you just keep on clicking until that star is in the central point point. and because we've got limited video that will do for now switch that off get rid of that take another quick image stars in the center synchronize to alter 
and that's it.